And then our very own John Harris and Mick here. Um, hello. Okay. okay, the Hudson Command Eight, straight eight, um, and uh, this is a 1947 car made for the South African market. Uh, hence, right-hand drive. Uh, owned the car for 20 years. A regular entrant, the supporter, uh, fellow Rotarian John. Nice to see you. And then riding shotgun. <laughs> and number nine, following up here, is the Chrysler 77 Royal Coupe. Coupe. Uh, four and a quarter litre, straight six side valve from 1930. Um, the um, Model 77 uh, roasters, two of them raced at Spa in Belgium. One finished fifth behind three Alphas and a Bugatti. The Series 77 featured hydraulic internal brakes. A new flat was made. Um, he said he's not that old. Oh, that's right. All right, sir. You're ready to go. Okay. Let's go Probably can't hear me over that packet. <laughs> And number 18 here is uh, the DSA, uh, the Birmingham Small Arms Company. Uh, it's a Mazda 500, four-stroke single from 1954. What a scrambler, now roadster. Okay, ready to roll. Are you ready, chat? Okay, right, enjoy your trip. Number uh, 19 is Mazda. Number 19, coming up here is the Yamaha Serol, uh, 225cc from 1997. Uh, this is uh, a, a, a regular supporter, Pete Manley from Caitlin. Uh, this matches 500cc's in the sick bay, undergoing major surgery. So uh, in order to not to miss the event, uh, this substitute bike here today, good to see you, glad you could join us. Are we all right with tickets? Yeah, we go. Number 20, the substituted bike is actually um, an HS 16MS 350cc from 1954, owned by Jeff Bowen here from Bristol since 1995. Uh, engine's been stripped twice since ownership, cover about 1500 miles annually, mostly on club runs. Number 22, this is a Norton Dominator, 600cc twin overhead valve from 1956. Uh, the Dominator was developed by Norton, 47 to 48, uh, to compete against the Triumph Speed Twin. Um, this design set the pattern for Norton Twins for the next 30 years. Right, okay, it's all your Number 23 then, this is a matchless G3 LS, uh, 350cc, four-stroke single cylinder. Um, the G3L was developed in 39 for use by the British Army during World War II, including the tele-hydraulic suspension. Uh, it's uh, fitted with a spare ABS engine, ABS and matchless being identical, early case of bad engineering. Number 24, uh, the uh, AJS Motorcycle 31 CSR Parallel Twin 650cc, 1959, owned since 1981. Um, engine and gearbox rebuilt, not the original black and blue because the owner prefers British racing green. That is a good enough reason to say. Enjoy your trip. Number 25 is the Maxxis G5 from Gary Clark here from Bristol, 1961 bike. Um, I think this is your first year, isn't it, Gary? So a warm welcome into Killing Soccer Classic Run. Uh, this uh, bike was introduced in the summer of 58 to complement AMC's associated motorcycles and um, existing range of machines. Uh, this is a 61 model used regularly and not particularly light. They were called light weights. Number 26 then, uh, this is Vic Warren from Bristol. Uh, James, uh, Super Swift, this is a Birmingham manufacturer, 250cc, oh no it's not, it's an APS. Don't know anything about this one, it's an APS, it's a lovely car of bike, isn't it? Yeah, great, lovely, very nice. And what do you know for it? <laughs> Substitute vehicle, right, here we go, on to the Land Rovers, number 27, looking very dapper then, very 
And number 45, this is a Triumph TR3A from uh, Andrew Pittman in Bristol, uh, 2300 cc straight four from 1960. Uh, this was uh, imported back from the USA nine years ago and uh, restored over the last nine years. Still lots of things to do, he's said, but you know, that's half the fun with these cars, isn't it? Yeah, On the motorcycles here we've got Nick, Nick Holder uh, with us here. This is a Triumph P140V 750cc bike from 1977. I think you're um, with Jason Bracey here. There's lots of friends in various places, some rather lower than others. And uh, a little birdie tells me that this lovely car was full of chaps going to Le Mans a year or two ago. And um, it was meant to go to Portsmouth to catch the ferry, but went to Plymouth by accident. Um, so they then had to drive to Portsmouth at a cost of a pound a mile in the gas thirsty yank. There are. Just so I'd mention that quietly in the street before you came to me. Oh, I thought it'd run out of petrol for a minute. <laughs> Number 21. Yeah, not to be outdone, I found the lift. <laughs> there we are. 